in this video, I want to actually go over the about five to six new uh, robustness and validation techniques uh, that Build Alpha has to offer. Um, so, just going to jump right into it. So, the first, we have this robustness testing uh, button has been added. So, when I open this, I essentially see the original is the selected, highlighted, and blue strategy. Um, so, this is meta systems. So, meta systems are basically uh, systems that attempt to trade a more improve an existing trading system. So in this case, uh, you could see this pink line is basically if we only traded this original strategy, if the last trade in the strategy was a loss. Um, and you can also do things like equity curve trading, so I change it to average. And again, this would show you all the equity curves if you only traded uh, this strategy, um, you know, when for example, this orange line is if the equity curve falls below its five period uh, moving average of the equity curve. Um, and some other things like a delayed test basically shows how the strategy would do if you delay the entries and exits. Um, a slippage test, you can see how your strategy does with varying amounts of slippage. Um, and a liquidity test, which basically shows you if you were to average in, uh, you weren't able to get your full position size in. Um, you know, how does a strategy do with uh, using different averages over the course of one to two bars to fill your uh, position? Again, this not so maybe this test not so useful for retail traders now trading smaller uh, accounts, but uh, some of the institutions might find this useful to see how a strategy uh, sensitivity is to capacity. Um, another big feature is this noise test. So I wrote a blog post that I'll link at the bottom. Um, if you hit this test settings at the bottom, you can configure the noise test. So the noise test is, I want to create um, 1,000 new data streams from our underlying historical data. But I want to vary the noise um, in that data stream. So you can choose how much you want to vary the noise and by how much. So in this example, I'm going to adjust 50% of the opens, 35% of the highs, 65% of the lows, 75% of the closes by up to a maximum of 50% of the average true range. So now once I've created these 1,000 new data series, um, I'm going to go ahead and retest my strategy to see how it does with varying amounts of noise. So I'll go ahead and hit this button and we run the test. So you can see that our back test does fairly well. However, when we add noise to it, um, performance is severely degraded. So this is a great test to see that maybe we've curved fit to the noise um, and our edge doesn't actually come from some underlying signal. Um, just one more check to make sure uh, that we're trading strategies that aren't curved fit um, that actually have edge. So I have an example here of a strategy that's a little more robust. Um, you know, you can see that as we've added or subtracted noise in our 100 uh, or 1,000 tests, that actually sometimes the strategy did better with more noise or less noise and sometimes it did worse but you could see that um, the noise was not the driver in the strategy performance because differing amounts actually created better and worse performance. I'm um, in the final addition, the final test added to build alpha and again I'll link to a blog post I've done on this. If you right click on any selected strategy you can hit this randomized out of sample test. So what this does is we might be afraid that we pass the out of sample testing because the out of sample period was extremely bullish. So we've selected 1,000 randomly selected out of sample periods, um, non-continuous -con dates, and we basically created a bunch of new out of sample tests retroactively removing trades that happened on a randomly selected dates and moving them into um, our out of sample uh, period, if you will, for this specific test. And again, um, the blog post will provide more clarity than I could do in a short video. But the idea is, if this strategy, um, our original back test, the blue, is above all of the random out-of-sample periods, then we could probably conclude that our out-of-sample performance um, can be highly attributed to a favorable out-of-sample period. And maybe we only passed the out-of-sample test because the out-of-sample period was extremely bullish and we had a long-only strategy. So this is just one more test to make sure that we used a fair out-of-sample period. Um, and as you can see here, some of our out of sample periods were better and some of our out of sample periods were worse. So I think it's safe to say that in this specific test, the out of sample period we've chose was fair. Um, and again, just all in all, we're just trying to add tools um, and features to build alpha to give everybody the most information possible to make the best trading decisions um, that they can. All right, thanks guys.